What does the budget proposal mean for education funding? I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Pennsylvania State Representative Will Tallman. Thanks for being with us. It's my pleasure, as always. The budget proposal is $28.4 billion. Let's talk about what that means, though, for education funding. There has been a call for an increase in the basic ed subsidy. subsidy. Yes, uh, there's going to be a $90 million increase in the basic ed uh, part of the education funding. And our governor, Governor Corbett, has taken a unique approach, which I don't think I've seen in 20 to 30 years, is he's going to distribute that additional money based on uh, the student population of a school district and the taxing effort of the school district. And that's something that us in South Central Pennsylvania, we've wanted funds, various funding, uh, distributed that way uh, because we feel that uh, the costing out study in 2008 said that education was supposed to be fair, funding was supposed to be fair, uh, equitable, and adequate. And it's neither fair or equitable uh, for us school districts in South Central Pennsylvania. So we think this is a very unique approach that the governor has taken, very favorable for our school districts. And we've talked about that issue in the past. Uh, there's also a call for an increase in early childhood education funding uh, to 348.4 uh, million, up by 3.4 percent. Uh, Pennsylvania higher ed system would stay level funded. Uh, the governor has also called for uh, mandate le relief for school districts. But all of this actually hinges on $138 million in pension savings. How are pension savings tied into education funding? Well, it's kind of unique because uh, I'm actually going to call it, it, they're intertwined. We have two pieces of a puzzle here that are intertwined. One is the liquor store privatization, and approximately a billion dollars would go to our school districts over four years. Uh, if the liquor stores are privatized. Yeah, if, if they're privatized, and then if the uh, what the governor's proposed uh, will happen with the pension system, then we get that $138, 140000000 million. Uh, and that's already built into the education budget. So if it doesn't happen, that money goes away. And I'm going to say it, that's an interesting the way the governor has done that. Uh, it's, it's an interesting way to accomplish some of his goals. Uh, if, if we can't do the pensions, uh, then there's going to be what I consider a real crisis in our education funding side of the formula. So when we talk about potential changes to the pension and the $138 million in potential savings, uh, when we talk about the pensions, if action isn't taken in this budget cycle, what then happens to education funding? Well, either you have one or two choices. Either A, you will, the budget will be cut by $138 million, or B, we'll have to find $138 million from someplace else. Now, our revenues are slightly above last year, and uh, I emphasize that slightly. But it, it's not that the 138, uh, 200 million uh, that we would need. So uh, pensions will far outstrip uh, the abilities of our school districts and the state uh, to be able to pay for those costs in four to five years. So we do need to do something because it's gonna absorb a larger and larger chunk of both our school district budget in the state budget, and there will have to be cuts to programs that we find uh, that we would like to have, but the costs are just going to be outrageous. Thanks for being with us. Come back, give us an update, let us know how this is all progressing. Thank you. Thank you. We've been talking with Pennsylvania State Representative Will Tallman. I'm Jill Horner.